One of the most common mistakes I've come across is keeping an eye on the headroom. With the advent of high quality DSLR cameras being used for recording professional video, it's also brought about the development of external recorders to complement the DSLRs. As audio capabilities of these cameras are, let's say, severely lacking, zoom field recorders are just an example of a purpose-built recorder that's used in conjunction with not just DSLRs, but top-grade cameras as well. In this age of solo video recorders, there's a lot to do. There's the picture, the lighting, the audio, and when all of that is done, you have to focus on your framing, composition, in fact, getting the best picture possible. Unfortunately, while you're looking at the viewfinder, you're not looking at your recorder, and on there is your meter, and it's telling you, you are in trouble. There's a million recorders. They all have a common goal and they all have one common attribute. They have meters, even the software recorders. These meters come in all shapes and sizes depending on the product you buy. Some are professional grade, others may be a bit more reference type. A meter is there to show you what level you're recording at. Too low and you'll have very little movement on the meter and a lot of machine noise on the recordings when you have to pump up the volume. Too high and the meter will be on the other end, signaling distortion throughout your recordings, making them virtually unusable. Giving yourself enough space between the low and the high end of the scales is called headroom, the sweet spot. Meters are a visual representation of what level you're recording. That's their job, that's what they do. So you need to keep an eye on them. You need to keep enough headroom for your levels to suddenly jump if there's a loud laugh or somebody shouts. I've often had to spend huge amounts of my day just cleaning up audio that's wrecked because nobody was keeping an eye on the headroom. So here's a tip. A lot of recorders have two channel input, which means that you have control of the input on channel one and channel two separately. So if you split the mic signal and put one into one and the other into channel two, drop the level of channel two by 10 dB. If the mic distorts on channel one, you have a clean version on channel two at that point in the recordings. The more headroom is a good thing. It means you've less to worry about and you don't want distortion all over your lovely, lovely, lovely video. I'm Keith Alexander and you're watching Perfecting Audio for Adorama TV. If you've any comments or anything you'd like to know more about, please fill in down below. We want you to get the most from this series and remember, see your world through your ears.